Here we're going to take some word problems and try to translate them into inequalities. And that can be a little bit tricky because for some of these inequalities there's more than one way to phrase them. A is less than B is pretty straightforward. That's pretty much how you'll see it written. A is greater than B, you might see more than, but that's pretty close. A is less than or equal to B can be written in a couple of different ways. You could say something is at most some value or something is no more than some value. That, both of those mean the same thing. They mean less than or equal to. And likewise with greater than or equal to, you get something is at least some value or something is no less than some value. So keep your eye out for these phrases. If that seems confusing, you might want to keep this little list handy while you're doing these problems. Let's take a look at what we've got here. The first one says, Colin walks his dog more than 40 minutes every day. Let t represent the time in minutes that Colin walks his dog. So t is our variable, so we're going to have t and then some inequality. Well, it, t is the time he walks his dog. That's more than 40 minutes every day. So we're just going to have greater than 40. t is greater than 40. All right, let's look at the next one. It says, Alicia has at least three cats. Let C represent the number of cats Alicia has. So if she has at least three, that means she could have three or she could have more. So the number of cats is going to be greater than or equal to three. Now, if you weren't sure about that, you could have seen the phrase at least and then gone back to this chart up here, found it up here, and we've got greater than or equal to. So that's a little bit of work with writing inequalities from word problems.